Hi, this is a very short tutorial on how to use Bokeh on an existing dataset in, within the Python library, which is called the Flowers dataset. So I will just quickly go over the imports that we are using over here. So Bokeh.plotting, we are going to use figure and show, which is going to use our plot function, um, as we will be in the future using the scatter command, we will be using both of these to show all the values. Then we have bokeh sample data dot iris, which is going to allow us to use the flowers data set. Then the factor C map, which is going to map all the respective colors from the categories that we choose to display. And then we have factor mark, which is going to be called from bokeh transform library. And this is basically going to create a dictionary out of all the categories that we are going to uh, tell bokeh to display. And finally, uh, output notebook, which is a command that allows Bokeh to understand that we have to show all the plots within this Jupyter Python notebook. So to begin with, we are going to simply call the flowers uh, dataset, like to display what it looks like. So the data set looks something like this. It has a very simple column uh, header and we are interested in the sepal width and the petal length. So these are the two columns and we are going to cluster them in our bokeh visualization scatter plot using our species. So basically what we aim to display is that for a particular sepal width and a particular length, this is the cluster of data that represent a particular species. So we begin with saying that the species are, is Setosa, Versicolor, and Virginica. This is what we have manually told the computer to understand. Then we say that you mark each of them respectively with a hexagon, a circle with an X inside, and a triangle icon. So these three represent an icon for each of these species. Then we tell a figure command to be represented by a variable p which has the title iris morphology it represents a plot basically and then we give it the x-axis the petal petal length the y-axis as a sepal width and then we begin to write our scatter command so in the scatter we provide the x-axis which is the petal length the y-axis which is a sepal width and then we say that the source of these two columns is the flowers data set. And the legends are going to be specified by the species column, as you can see over here. This is the species column. The fill alpha, line alpha, and size represent the icon uh, customizations. So this 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 18 values, it's basically random. You can fit any value over here as per your clarity of the data. So we can modify these later if the plot does not come out to be in a very clean fashion. What we have to focus here is the marker and the color. The marker allows you to have specific species data sets associated with the markers value that you have set over here. So for each of the species that you have, the bokeh data set is going to create or categorize every column value with a particular icon like a hexagon circle x or triangle the color which is represented by factor c map is going to be taken from category 10 underscore 3. this is going to tell you which color is going to be assigned to a particular species you can change this later now the last line is basically to show this plot so we basically only write show p the rest of the values, by the way, over here are pretty default, like these don't need to be changed, like species, species, markers. And I'm sure you can directly associate your data set with these values. Once we run this, we are going to receive a plot like this. And as you can see, all the three species have been color coded in these clusters by petal length and sepal width. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching.